shut this down to explain. You're nice and slow. Actually, I hate the saying nice and nice and slow. Why not just say slowly? Anyways, um, so I, it's many, many days later. Um, we've had some, some weather, including currently it's snowing. And the spring is outputting at least 11 gallons per minute. I have a jet on there that's good for 11 gallons per minute. And it was maintaining full pressure as the jet was running unrestricted for many hours on end. So I wired up this shunt and amp volt watt meter in line with the DC side of my rectifier. And then that goes to this power strip, which I have many incandescent bulbs plugged in as resistors. <clears throat> and with this, we can tune exactly how much power we're, not exactly, but approximately how much power we're actually able to produce and consuming here. Now, remember, this is only like 11 gallons per minute, and the, the temporary setup with one jet, this may be not accurately sized and whatever, and the turbine still has a lot of friction in it. And I'll turn it on. Um, I think this, I don't know. We'll see. I think this bulb here is off right now. Now, I'm using them as resistors, so they're not going to be full brightness because my operating voltage is approximately half of 120, 130 volts. So these bulbs are only seeing like 60 to 65 volts running through them, so they're half brightness. Now, that's DC, so I don't know if that's approximately the same. And now I'm going to turn this light on and we'll hear it change. And then you see the, the watts there has to re-equalize as the RPMs equalize as well. So we're seeing 55 volts. Now I can also turn off the power strip quickly to see what our open circuit voltage is. When I do that, we get a spike of watts also, because there's a lot of inertia in the alternator there. I'll show you. So we're momentarily doing 200 watts. 11 gallons per minute with the head height that I have is approximately 550 watts at 100% efficiency. So sadly right now this is operating at like 20% efficiency. Uh, and I know that these can operate much higher efficiency like 60, 70, 80% efficient. So there's something clearly wrong. There's a lot of friction there or my jet alignment is not perfect. Here, let me turn it off. easier to talk without the turbine going for sure it's 
so I'm losing some efficiency somewhere. I don't know if it's the jet um, or the alternator itself or things are just sized incorrectly. My dynamic pressure as it's running is a little bit under 120 PSI. Um, that's probably a little bit due to the pen stock and probably a lot due to this smaller three quarter inch line that I have running here because that's what I had the connections for at the time and I haven't switched it up yet. Now I know I said this is a kilowatt system so um, I, I, I don't know it's frustrating at, at times because I know it can do 30 gallons per minute that's what I designed this pen stock for uh, inch and a half pen stock should flow 30 gallons per minute with only minimal losses like maybe 5% friction losses and 30 gallons per minute should be over a kilowatt on this and here we are at 11 gallons per minute and we're at 100 watts so if you interpolate that upwards that's um, 300 watts at, in its current setup if I had full 30 gallons per minute and a larger nozzle on there there you can see the nozzle I have on there and I'll turn on low just to see the jet alignment too there we can quite clearly see the the jets are aligned pretty good um, it may be if I rotate this into a different alignment that's pretty good there it may be that I need to raise the jet up a little bit because I'm getting some it looks like some splash black um, I mean look at that jet shooting forward so that's not um, properly aligning with the spoon but there it's pretty good so uh, I don't know maybe the jet needs to go up a little bit <laughs> all right well I'll keep messing with it um, moving forward I'm going to be out of town for a few days, so I might not get to anything. Uh, I need to get a better charge controller and a battery pack and more spoon or more jets on that. I'll probably go off of this or actually I'll actually buy my manifold parts to break this out into multiple parts. Um, my load testing is working good. This is, I, I don't even know the total amount of watts. I think that's 200 watt bulbs and then that's a 40 watt and I don't know what these are, probably 60. But if you run them at half voltage in DC then you get different power consumption adding up to, as that would say, about 100 watts. So well, it's interesting. More work to be done obviously, but I just wanted to show you guys that I, I do have some, uh, some progress to show you, as janky as it looks. All right, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Uh, you can support me on Patreon, and you can also check out my Amazon links in the description for cool things that I approve of, and then I get a little bit of a commission from those uh, if you buy something for yourself. It's just me plugging so that I get some money to afford this project because next up I have to buy, you know, the charge controller and a bunch of other stuff. So I'll see you guys around.